Sidney Hughes Green Street was a British-born American actor who did not work in films until the age of 62, but enjoyed a run of notable hits in a Hollywood career lasting just eight years. He is best remembered for his Warner Brothers films with Humphrey Bogart and Peter Law, which include The Maltese Falcon, Casablanca, and Passage to Marseille. He became a naturalized United States citizen in 1925. He portrayed Nero Wolf on radio from 1950-51. Early life, Green Street was born in Sandwich, Kent, the son of Anne and John Jack Green Street, a leather merchant. He had seven siblings. He left home at the age of 18 to make his fortune as a Ceylon tea planter, but drought forced him out of business. He began managing a brewery and, to escape boredom, took acting lessons. Career Green Street's stage debut was as a murderer in a 1902 production of a Sherlock Holmes story at the Marina Theatre, Ramsgate, Kent. He toured Britain with Ben Greet's Shakespearean Company, and in 1905, he made his New York debut. Thereafter he appeared in such plays as a revival of As You Like It in 1916 with revered actress Margaret Anglin. Green Street appeared in numerous plays in Britain and America working through most of the 1930s with Alfred Lunt and Lynn Fontan at the Theatre Guild. Throughout his stage career, his parts ranged from musical comedy to Shakespeare, and years of such versatile acting on two continents led to many offers to appear in films. He refused until he was 62. In 1941, Green Street began working for Warner Brothers. His debut film role was as Caspar Gutman co-starring with Humphrey Bogart in The Maltese Falcon. A film also featured Peter Law, as the twitchy Joel Cairo, a pairing that would prove durable. The two men appeared in some nine films altogether, including Casablanca as crook club owner Signor Ferrari, as well as Background to Danger, Passage to Marseille, reteaming him with Casablanca stars Humphrey Bogart, Peter Law, and Claude Rains, The Mask of Demetrios, The Conspirators, Hollywood Canteen, Three Strangers and The Verdict. The actor played roles in both dramatic films, such as William Makepeace Thackeray in Devotion and witty performances in screwball comedies, for instance Alexander Yardley in Christmas in Connecticut. In 1949, Green Street played opposite Joan Crawford in Flamingo Road. After a mere eight years, in 1949, Green Street's film career ended with Malaya, in which he was billed third, after Spencer Tracy and James Stewart. In those eight years, he worked with stars ranging from Clark Gable to Ava Gardner to Joan Crawford. Author Tennessee Williams wrote his one-act play The Last of My Solid Gold Watches with Green Street in mind, and dedicated it to him. Indiana, 1950-51, Green Street played Nero Wolf on the NBC radio program, The New Adventures of Nero Wolf, based loosely on the rotund detective genius created by Rex Stout. Death and Legacy, Green Street suffered from diabetes and Bright's disease, a kidney disorder. Five years after leaving films, Green Street died in 1954 in Hollywood due to complications from both conditions. He is interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Glendale, California in the utility columbarium area of the Great Mausoleum, inaccessible to the public. He was survived by his only child, his son, John Ogden Green Street from his marriage to Dorothy Marie Ogden. Actor Mark Green Street is his great-nephew. Filmography References Further reading, Youngkin, Stephen D. The Lost One, A Life of Peter Law. University Press of Kentucky. ISBN 0-8131-2360-7. A Euro contains a full chapter on the professional friendship between Green Street and classic film actor Peter Law. External links, Sydney Green Street at the Internet Movie Database, Sydney Green Street at the TCM Movie Database, Sydney Green Street at the Internet Broadway Database, Sandwich People and History, Sydney Green Street, Free Auth Shows a Euro The Adventures of Nero Wolf, Sydney Green Street at Find a Grave, Literature on Sydney Green Street.